today we're going to unbox and review Rumi, the world's first gesture controlled lamp. Now, if you have a thing about touching lights, I mean, well, it's 2017, who still touches lights? Then I have just a thing for you. I've always wanted to say this. You get to use the false. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervey from Hervey's World, showing you that IT means I try. Well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews just like this one. Anything we discuss in this episode, you're gonna find right in the description right on the bottom. So let's go check out Rumi, the world's first motion gesture lamp where you get to use the force let's go check it out okay let's take a look okay now i bought this not because I needed it, but it's different technology. I mean, the world's changing, so let's evolve with it. Okay, let's see what we have. So it looks like this. So it says Air Touch, Bluetooth Music. So you can sync this for Bluetooth Music. It has USB charging, auto night mode, and flicker free LED. So specifications. This is a, the model is the HLM. Let me zoom in. The HLM 170EN. The color is white and silver. It's about 11 inches. It weighs about 53 ounces. Now, the max lumen is 800 and it has a dimmable 5200 Kelvin, flicker free. Now it has a 20,000 hour light operation. It has a three watt speaker, didn't know how to speaker, and it has two USB charging ports. And let's take a look. So it uses Wi-Fi 2.4 and a Bluetooth 2.0 floor as well. It's compatible with iOS and Android devices. So let us breach the center. Okay, so thus far it's well packed. Box. So right off the bat, I've got to say that this reminds me, if you're a tech uh, trekkie, this reminds me of the Starship Enterprise, the dome. Now, looking in the box, it has something within here. Ah, we have the power brick. Now this is 300 volts. So let us wow okay first impressions I like the white it's very futuristic looking now I can see here that we have motion sensors now this was a Kickstarter campaign that started Back in August, they came to fruition. So let us get a better angle for you and uh, we'll break it down. Okay, let's plug this puppy up. So, so it looks like that. 
So it will give you about 800 lumen. Now tell me this does not look like the Starship Enterprise. Now the LED light is about a 20 bulb light. It's not big enough to light in a room. But it'll, it's more for like a night light. Now, as I stated before, it was a Kickstarter campaign. Um, it only illuminates from the bottom of the light. So if you see, it only illuminates from the bottom of the light. It's made so that it doesn't hinder your eyesight. Now, it illuminates from the bottom. Also, when you set it, you can set it to wake you up via an app which has iOS and Android. Now, let's try the motion control. So if we do that, so you see turns off. So you just gotta go horizontal, on, off, on. Now there's motion sensors on here. So the gestures, there's no setups, it's automatic. So if I do this, off, on, Actually, that's how you turn it off. Wow, cool. Now, if you notice, the higher I go up, the brighter, the lower. Pretty cool. So, it's gesture control. You can see that it's not so bright. Let me turn off the other light so you can see. It's, it's a cute night light. Here's my thing. Um, it maps your behaviors and knows when you come home. So it'll update its behavioral mapping over time. So guys, Skynet is alive. Now, it turns on when it detects people and it turns itself off. So there's no need to turn it on. Um, it will remember to turn it off for you. So how cool is that? So say you're sleeping and you need to get up. Now you need to go turn on the light. But guess what? It turns itself on. Now I wonder how the sensitivity settings are going to bother you. So watch this. I turned it off, right? And then if I move, pretty cool. So is it, how sensitive is it? Is this thing gonna keep you up at night? Well, I'll find out. I'll find out how problematic it is. Now, let's talk about the hand gestures. Once again, off, on. Higher, lower. Pretty cool. Proximity sensors are really sensitive. Um, and if you notice, no fit clearing. So it's meant for you to be able to read. And you can also manage lights through the app. So if you have a roomy uh, hub center, you can do that. Now, if you take a look here, you'll see that it comes with two USB chargers. How convenient is that? This is uh, not gonna, you know, brighten up a whole room, but it's great for a night light. You put it on a stand and you're good to go. Um, would I recommend? I don't know, it's up to you. Do you need to not touch a light? So let me change the angle. How's that? Ah, you get to see my ring light. Okay, just to give you a better view, I decided to do it in the dark, so off, on. Now, dim. Now you gotta catch it just right. Because what happens is, 
it'll see your hand. So I say if you give it a sec, just to notice your hand and then you can bring it up. It's pretty bright. Honestly, it's really bright. So. That's not bad. So right now I'm going to look for um, the music aspect and we'll see how it goes. So back in a sec. Okay, so let us take a look at the Wi-Fi capabilities of this speaker. So it's going to show up as XML Y dash D six. Okay, that is connected. So let's go and see what we got. It actually it actually produces the sound in a three sixty configuration so not bad bravo and it's a light so multifunctional light I like it I'll see how bothersome it is when it wakes me up at night but like and subscribe IT means I try well here's the thing do you need it? Mm. If you're in the middle of the night and you have to use the bathroom a lot, this is going to help you not have to turn on the light. It's automatic. What do you guys think? So, using the force. That is its brightest setting. Okay, thanks for checking us out. Catch you guys in the next one. Choose the force.